Hello, and welcome to Shop Fix, a community joined together for the love of woodworking. My name is William Andry, and in today's episode, I want to give you a comprehensive review of this DeWalt DWE 7480 job site table saw. Let's get right into it. The table saw I'll be reviewing today is my DeWalt DWE 7480 10-inch compact job site table saw. Now I want to go over a few features that you get included with this table saw. So right off the bat you'll see that it comes with a very nice sturdy metal throat plate. I've been using a zero clearance throat plate that I've made that's made cuts much smoother and dust collection much easier. So that's the stock throat plate that comes with this job site table saw and then this is the stock blade that comes with this job site table saw and it is a 10 inch blade all blades that you put on this table saw will be 10 inches and this is a 24 tooth blade and it's great for construction for ripping two by fours and you know this blade comes with it because it's a job site table saw you know people are ripping large sheet goods and cutting two by four so that's why that's included. I've put on a fine tooth blade for some more fine woodworking projects. It comes with a great blade guard and maybe too great because when this thing's on here it's hard to you know cut anything smaller than about four inches so obviously I've taken it off for woodworking purposes but when you're on the job site this thing will prevent a lot of injuries and just, you know, make you able to rip your sheet goods. It kind of helps hold down the material. So that's included. Now, another important thing that they've included is this anti-kickback assembly that you can attach on the back of the riving knife to catch any boards trying to kick back. And it'll get caught in the teeth. And I've taken it off because a lot of projects that I'm using, I'm not ripping large pieces and also because when the wood passes through here sometimes it'll scratch the piece so if you're doing fine woodworking projects you can just remove that but if you're on the job site ripping a lot of 2 by 4s this comes in great handy and it also includes a miter gauge and I actually have used this a lot it's really not that bad uh, it's certainly inferior to some of the aftermarket miter gauges you can get, but I've attached it to this and just made a quick little piece that I can cross cut boards. Without it, it wasn't as accurate for sure. It's a little wobbly in the groove. It's not tight. So I really want to build a cross cut sled and that'll kind of negate the, you know, the inferior miter gauge fence that comes with it. Okay, now that I've covered the accessories of this job site table saw, I want to cover the specs. Now I've raised the blade up to its maximum height. And the max cut depth at the 0 degree bevel is 3 and 8 inch. And then the max cut depth at a 45 degree bevel is 2 and a 4 inch. The max ripping capacity of this job site table saw is 24 inches. And the table saw work surface itself is 19 inches long and 22 and a half inches wide. Now, I do want to mention something about the table saw work surface itself. The 19 inches and 22 inches is very small. When I first got this table saw, it was kind of hard to work on because of that small surface. And I kind of knew right off the bat, I was going to have to build a table saw workstation around the job site table saw. And if you're working with it at the job site, there is no need. You want it small, compact, and you want to be able to get your cuts done, but not have this thing take up much room. So it's a pro in that sense, but a con in the sense that this is in a wood shop and I need a large work surface to work off. So that's something to keep in mind. If you do bring this into a wood shop like I have it, it's best to amplify the work surface by building a table saw workstation, and that can be easily done. So let's move on to some of the other features of this job site table saw. 
All right, now we're down here at the front of the table saw because I wanted to show you some of the knobs and control features of this job side table saw. So right here you can see the red on off button and it's super easy to turn on and turn off whenever you need to. You also have the mechanism to raise the blade and lower the blade. That's super convenient. And then right underneath that is the locking mechanism to tilt the blade. So you just unlock that and the blade easily tilts all the way to 45 degrees if you want that. And then you lock it into place. And then to make sure that the zero degree bevel and the 45 degree bevel are right on point, you can adjust these little discs to the right or to the left to get that adjustment perfect. And I've found that to be super reliable uh, after you set it up. And if you wanna switch back to zero degrees, super simple. And you can go to any degree that you'd like to between zero and 45 and just lock it right in. Uh, some other features I wanted to show you down here are this little knob and this knob controls the fence mechanism, which I will get to in more detail later, but I just wanted to show you the knob up close that controls the fence system. And all you have to do is turn it. That's about it down here. Now let's go on top of the table saw for some more features. All right, now we're back at the top of this job site table saw, and I really want to dive in to the rack and pinion system that controls the fence for this job site table saw. So before purchasing this table saw, I looked at some reviews because I really wanted to figure out how reliable the fence was. So after reviewing this and using it for almost two years now, I can tell you that this fence system is one of the reasons why you should consider a DeWalt job side table saw over some of the other job side table saws out there. And that's because the fence system locks in perfectly because since it slides on two rails, which one rail in the front and another rail in the back, when you lock it in place, you're not locking this in place, you're locking the rack and pinion system in place. I can actually take this part off and you can see that this is simply your fence. This is the locking mechanism, which I really like. I've enjoyed it, it's been accurate. And what's cool is you can take this off maybe in transit when you, you, know, you wanna save some space in your car if you are taking it to the job site. And this can actually go on to the outer hook. And what that does is that actually increases your cross cutting capacity to the full 24 inches. And then you can slide it back and you, you can use it like that or you can take this off and simply put it onto the first one which I usually have on the first one, like that. And it's fairly easy to switch out if needed to be. And I can tell you through my experience that that fence system, the rack and pinion system is super accurate. And one of the reasons I would highly recommend this job site table saw for you, if you're looking for a job site table saw, now, while we're here, I'd like to talk about the arbor too. Now, obviously the, the arbor is what the blade is resting on. The blade changes are super easy and it comes with two wrenches to easily get that blade change done. What I wanted to talk about though, which is kind of a downside to this table saw, is that the arbor isn't long enough to house a dado stack, even a thin one, even like an eighth inch one. It's just not long enough to put any more thickness of blade on there. So keep that in mind when you're considering buying this model. If you have any questions about any of the features and benefits or drawbacks to this table saw, just leave me a comment below. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have before purchasing this saw. I've been working with it for nearly two years now and I've used it in its full capacity and I also tried to upgrade it to get the most use out of it. I haven't had anything break on me. Everything works and functions as it's supposed to. So that about wraps it up. And if you found this helpful, 
please like this video and subscribe to the ShopFix community. Take care.